Hello everybody, just wanted to make a quick tutorial for Counter-Strike 2 uh, for the SDK here. If you want your corners to look really nice and have that split 45 degree angle, uh, what you want to do is some of the new methods within the Source 2 engine, or at least that I've learned, is a lot of it has to do with faces, edges, and vertices. So normally like in counter in the old in CSGO, you'd make blocks, right? Uh, but now we're going to be using basically like displacements everywhere. Um, and you can kind of combine your building into one large object. Um, to make a nice corner like this, what you want to do is grab your faces. So you, you, you went into objects, you clicked on the block tool, you made a block, go ahead and grab your faces. You're going to want to double double left click, select everything, and then hold control and left click. It's going to deselect that face so it doesn't delete it. And you're going to click delete, right? The Dell key on your keyboard. And you're going to have this one little one-sided and, you know, half invisible piece, right? You're going to grab your edge tool and then you're going to wrap around your building. I'm just going to go around loosely like this, but do it properly um, to whatever thickness you want. And then you're going to have this corner, right? Um, typically what you'll do is you want to connect it up to your building. Um, you'll just go like this. By the way, um, to extend a new face, I'm holding shift and I'm clicking. A lot of it I've been using in the 3D view. I find it more useful. So you can extend like this, right? But then you're going to go, okay, well, I want to extend my other corner. And you do that. Well, now they overlap. Well, what do you do? How do you get that nice 45 degree angle that looks like this? All you have to do is click on your vertices. You're going to go ahead and grab a corner. It doesn't matter what corner. Sometimes it's annoying. Select it and then you bring it in. I'm not holding anything. I'm just dragging it with my mouse. And then what you do is you select the other corner on the other side and then hold shift to select multiple. Make sure you're selecting the outer vertice first and then holding shift and clicking so together. And then you go over here and click merge. And what that's going to do is it's going to combine those two points and it's going to drag your um, drag that face to be on a 45. And now look, you have a super nice, smooth, basically seamless corner. And you can play around with your textures if you go back to your face mode and tweak them and rotate them and whatever. Sometimes if they're sideways like that, all you'd go is you'd you know, change them at 90 degrees and boom, there you go. All right, I hope this helped. Um, I find it really useful and it looks a lot cleaner, nicer, and you can play textures like I've been doing it here on my hide and seek map. You know, I can line up the corners like this and it looks really, really professional. So yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. So have a good day and see y'all later.